SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. So Al Tiburon didn't give you any clue as to who he wanted to kill? No, know. no. Who knows, maybe it was just a test. Uh, at least you made contact. It's more than I was able to do on my own. We're good together. You said that. That's no, true. Yeah. It is. Congratulations. Your gala is magnificent. Well, now that you're here, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. I don't know if I can live up to those expectations. You do. And I want a chance to live up to yours. Thank you. Look at Jessica and Tico. They're good. So you ready to get back out there? Uh, a waltz? Uh, no, oh, I don't think so. it's not as hard as it looks. Mm. Come on. I'll show you. No. Oh, can I just stand on your shoes? You'll do all the steps. <laughs> Relax. It's easy. We'll have fun. Just follow me, okay? I'll leave my left. Okay. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. There you go. You're a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, watch me fall on my face. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, it's caught. That's all. all right, let me wait. get in here. Just wait, wait, wait. Can we? Uh, there, I think I, I got it. All right, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's. I mean, uh, you know what? I never understood how you women walk around in those stilts anyway. Well, obviously, some of us don't. <laughs> men, I think men designed this um, just to keep us on, on edge, you know? Give you guys the, the heads up, you know? Remember, don't forget, Ginger Rogers had to dance backwards. It's all a plot. That's true. <laughs> Buchanan, I'll be right there, all right? Pause at the palace. He's uh, hunting down Todd and Blair. Oh, my God. All right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. What did you do? What they saw? I locked him in the closet. <laughs> what? Where? It, his house, the mansion. What? Don't worry about it. He's no problem for now. Well, what about later? It's gonna make it look like it's another one of his wild hallucinations. Stop the damn music! Time for real justice. Texas style. Oh, my God, Ace, are you all right? Everybody, I will talk. 
talk to him. Everything is under control. Grim. Everything will be under control when I take care of that damn Manning. Now, where the hell is he? Oh, there's my man, Manning. Do you know what happens when a mangy dog messes up my front lawn? No, Asa. Ah, stop, stop. I'm going to tell you something, Bo. You either let me shoot him or you throw him in jail along with that tramp girlfriend of his. I'm going to get this lunatic out of here. Give me the pistols. Where have you been? We've been worried sick to death about you, Asa. Uh, look, I told you. I told the police that poisonous ex-wife of mine hit me over the head with something and knocked me out. Rolled me up in a rug and drove me in the wilderness, God knows where. Todd and she tied me to a tree, left me to die. And when I finally wiggled through and got out of the ropes, I run across two little scouts who had a rattlesnake with them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Two little what? Little guys that size. And guess what? They ran away and left me. I still didn't know where the hell I was. So I started trudging along in the wilderness, and boom, I fell in a ravine. And I swear I couldn't get out. And I survived for a day and a half down there. Surprised to see me so soon, huh, you two? Now throw those two in damn jail. Hey, you, hey, you man, calm down. All right, Manning? What do you have to say about this? Oh, well, Blair and I just got back from St. Bart's. Hey, Bo, we barely made it to this gala on time. So, you know, what you need to do, Bo, is control your father here. He's, uh, you know, dangerous. <laughs> Give me my gun, Bo. I'll show him dangerous. No, no, I told you, just knock it off. What, do you want to get thrown in jail? No more tall tales, Bo. Tall tales? I'm saying it in every one of you. Asa, don't. What? Let's go into the bar, and I'll pour you a bourbon. I think that's a good idea, Pa. Come on, let's go. Oh, Manning. We're gonna take care of our little business a little later. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm terribly sorry for the intrusion. Everything is fine now. Everything's under control. We're here for a good cause, and the evening has just begun, so please, Let's enjoy ourselves. Thank you. How are you? I think I should go check on my grandfather. Okay, I'll go with you. No, no, no. no you're the host. You should stay here and take care of your guests. Okay. What's wrong? What the hell have you done? Oh, relax. Everyone thinks he's wacko. Big deal. You didn't seem very concerned when you thought you killed him with a candlestick. What's with you? There you are. You're missing all the fun. Asa pulled a gun on Todd and Blair. Is everyone still alive? Yeah, unfortunately. I got a little worried when I didn't see you in there. I just didn't feel like being around all those people. Kevin, that woman. <laughs> Come on. You're not still yearning after that toad, are you? No, it's... I know I made my fair share of mistakes. I messed up. I did some stupid things. Whoa. Well, I can't let Kevin ruin my life. Amen to that. I have to stay strong for my son so I can get him back. I like hearing you talk like that. Look, you... You know I've been a little worried about you, right? And I like it that you worry about me. Look, about what happened. No, don't, Vince. That kiss didn't mean anything, David. I was just upset. I... Don't give it another thought. Do you want to go back in? There you are. 
You are? Hi. I've been looking all over for you two. What are you doing out here? I was just about to go back in. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> you are the most gorgeous, elegant woman at this soiree. Oh, honey. That is so sweet. Let's go show everybody. What exactly do you think you're going to find? He must have used something to disguise his voice, some kind of software or something. Why do you say that? Because it didn't sound like Tico. Look, I don't care what it sounded like, all right? I know it was Tico, and I'm going to prove it. Antonio, Tico has been at the gala, at the palace all night. There's at least 100 witnesses. Wait, he couldn't have could... slipped away to make a phone call? Tico is not El Tiburon. Uh-huh. So why don't you tell him that you're an INL agent? I have to get back to the gala. I promised Tico I'd be there. You wait. I'm going with you. I'm going to ask my new brother some questions. Yes. Antonio's leaving Lion's Heart. Sonia's with him. Follow them. Let me know where they go. Diana. What's your date? Uh, he went to go make sure his great-grandfather's all right. I'm, I'm sorry about what just happened. Had Mr. Buchanan had been anyone else, he never would have made it past security, but you know, his wife owns a hotel, so... Stop worrying. Tonight has been amazing. Never been to a party like this before. I'll tell you the truth, I feel a little weird. Why? Well, it's like when I moved into my mother's house. Everything's too nice to touch. But... You're comfortable at Dorian's now, right? Yeah, I guess so. Good. Well, it will be like these events. You'll get used to it. I just don't want to embarrass you. No, that's impossible, Adriana. <laughs> is... is Duke treating you well? He's really sweet. Good. Well, if there's anything else that I can do for you, always count on me. Of course, she has her mother to help her with anything that she needs. Of course, and there's no one better than your mother. Now, well, have a good time. I'll see you later. Excuse me. I hope he's okay. Well, he does seem to be adjusting very well to the um, tragic death of his mother. Mom, you know... I can love Tico and still love you just as much. Why does it have to be a competition with you two? Oh. You are so sweet. You know, I think you're one of those rare breeds of people that can love unconditionally and generously. It's just the world, darling, can be a very dangerous place for people who are so trusting. Mom? Uh, look, let's let's go over this again, okay? Now, wait a minute. I want you all to please stop staring at me. Asa, we've been very concerned about you. You were missing for three days. Well, what the hell do you think I've been telling you? Look at the bruises, cuts. Look at this. I got a big lump on my noggin. Those polecats almost sent me to my grave. All right, all right, all right. Now, you say when you fell in that hole or ravine, whatever, it was Rex Balsam that got you out, right? Yeah, it charged me a, an outrageous fee. Greedy little buzzard. Oh, okay, okay, whatever happened, look, you can't come barging in here and shooting the place up like this is the Old West. Why the hell not? You want to arrest that mongrel? Nora, let's hear about the law. Well, Asa, I'm sorry. There just isn't enough evidence to support an arrest warrant for Todd or Blair. You think I'm telling a story. And you two don't think I'm playing with a full deck. Uh, no one has said anything remotely like that, Grandpa. What, what I think is that we should get you to a hospital and get somebody to check you out. I am not going to let any doctor probe me, poke me. Going home. Come on. No, darling, can you wait? Um, I, I can't leave the gala until it's over. I don't think that it's a good idea that you stay in your house until this whole dispute with Todd and Blair is resolved. If you want me out, get me out. Bring a SWAT team. Oh, fine. Uh, well, actually, I mean, there's no restraining order keeping him from the house, so... You know what? I, I'm, I'm leaving. I'll give you a ride. How's Mr. Buchanan feeling? Uh, 
Ask him. Who the hell is this? And this is Tico Santi. Remember, you met him at the house? He's hosting the gala? He's Antonio's brother. If I were you, I'd throw the whole lot of them out of the hotel I gave you. Grandpa, I'm really happy that you're safe. We were really worried. Not worried enough. I'm going home. Okay, come on, cowboy. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Nora. Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Could, could you just uh, excuse us for one second? We have to have a family discussion. Of course. I'll get back to my guest. Jessica, will I see you inside later? Yes. Okay. I have to say that I am glad that he's back, but I would not put it past Blair or Todd to do anything. If Asa said that they kidnapped him, I'm betting on Asa. Things couldn't have worked out better, but... Asa almost shot you, Todd. Yeah, but he didn't. And now his family thinks he's a lunatic. And so we're gonna get him out of that house. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go kick things up a notch. What is that supposed to mean? Save me a dance. I'll be back. Todd, wait, 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 wait just a minute. Don't go over there. We have pushed our luck far enough tonight. Asa is going to be out of our lives soon enough. Okay? I won't be long. Hey, don't be crazy. Don't ask for anything you can't get, honey. Dorian, you look beautiful, Blair. So glad to see you. But I may be the only one here who thinks that Asa may have been right all along. Really? Really? So, what's crazy Todd dragged you into this time? that we did. We were out of town, remember? Blair. What? Todd told me that you two had a run-in with Asa. Well, what did he say? What kind of madness has Todd dragged you into? This is insane, honey. Don't do it. It's not worth getting yourself shot for. Hey, I heard that Asa pulled a gun on you. Mm -hmm. What happened? Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. Are you sure? When Ace pulls out those firearms, he gets pretty spooky. I took a dive under the table. <sighs> he's just mad because he's about to lose his house. But let me see that dress, Kelly. Oh. Turn around. Oh, my, my. <laughs> you look beautiful, and I wasn't expecting you here tonight. You must be feeling better. I am. I am feeling better. Helps to have family and good friends around. That is so good to hear, honey. And I got to see Ace tonight. You didn't? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. I knew Kevin would be here. If Kevin finds out that you saw Ace, he could rescind your visitation. Wait, visitation? What have I missed? Uh, oh. Kevin agreed to give Kelly one hour visitation twice a week. And Kelly, if he finds out you're seeing Ace without his permission... Oh, no, no, he won't, he won't. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> How's your grandfather? I wish I knew. Listen, I'm sorry about the commotion earlier. Yeah, it's all right. It certainly got everyone talking. One thing concerns me, Kevin. If your grandfather is incapacitated, he could be a political liability. Excuse me? Forgive me if I sound harsh, but we can't have Mr. Buchanan show up armed at campaign rallies. Okay, whether my grandfather is sick or, or whatever, I, I don't know, okay? But I do stand by him. And if you have a problem with that, you can find yourself another candidate. Excuse me. Where? Uh, get both. Hope you're not leaving. Um, Worst time. Uh, he's a around. He, just somewhere. Mm. Well, I guess I'll talk to you then. Where did you two stay when you were in St. Bart's? Bunch of traitors. And you, Nora. You know Manny. How could you not believe me? I never said I didn't. Okay. Look, Bo is questioning Todd right now. If he's committed a crime, he'll be prosecuted. And that tramp Blair? And Blair, too. Absolutely. But just, you know, let Bo do his job and you stop thinking about it. Now, have you eaten anything? I'm not hungry. Why don't you come in, sit down, have a little rest. I'll make you a sandwich. All right, it's a time to party. Your loyalty is admirable, Kevin, but you must understand. No, no, listen to me. You must understand. My grandfather will not be a problem for us or anyone else. 
No. I'm certain you're right. Excuse me. I have to find my date. You look lovely tonight. How are you? I'm just really worried about my grandfather. And <laughs> relieved that he's back and that he's around people that love him. I'm just sorry that he almost wrecked the whole night. Jessica, the only thing that could have ruined this night for me would have been if you hadn't shown up and you're here. So tell me, what made you change your mind? I guess I realized by not coming, I was letting Antonio control my life. I can't let that happen. You know, don't you, about Antonio and Sonia? I'm sorry. You know what? Let's not be sorry about anything tonight. I can't do anything about Antonio. I can't do anything about my grandfather. So let's just have fun. Go ahead, ma'am. Thank you. May I see your invitation, sir? Uh, he's with me. I'm sorry, the black tie is required. Jessica's moved on. You should, too. Would you excuse me? The tanner's told her it's leaving. I should speak to her. Sure. Okay. You and Tico seem to be getting pretty cozy. Could be. Oh, you like him. That's great. Why are you asking me about this? I know we're not on the best of terms, but it's not like I don't care about you. I do like Tico. We have a lot in common. Good. I was never so sure about Antonio anyway. There's always something a little dangerous about him. Tony, we should go. It's late. leaving again, are you? Tico, you don't need me here. You can charm twice that many people all by yourself. Is there something you'd like to say to me? Yeah. Get out of the way. Sonia, I need you here. Tico, you just don't want me to be with Antonio. He's trying to turn you against me. Don't you see it? He's confused. He just found out that he wasn't the person he thought he was his entire life. Could you show him a little compassion? Well, he's not making it easy. But for your sake, I'll try. How's that? Thank you. That's all I ask. <laughs> See you at home. Yeah. Tico, you didn't go anywhere any tonight, did you? Of course not. I'm the host. Right. I'll see you later. Sure. Down there and um, found out that we were there the whole time. Where's Todd now? Um, he probably went home to check on the kids. You know, after what Asa pulled just now, I mean, who knows what he's gonna do next? And that story that he told? Come on, was very far fetched, right? Mm. You know, Blair, if I find out that you and Manning had anything to do with Asa's disappearance, you will be prosecuted. I promise you. Well, I, uh, I have two kids, and I'm about to be remarried. I run a very successful magazine. I don't want to risk that. I hope that you don't. See, I know Manning, and when he makes up his mind that he wants something, he will lay everything on the line to get it. You think I'm out of my head? Oh. Asa, I think you've got a big, huge lump on the back of your head, and I think that you probably have a concussion, and I think you should probably go to a doctor. I don't need a quack, and I don't need a babysitter. Asa. Just go. Asa, come on. Go on. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Raina's gonna be home soon anyway, so I'm out of here. 
Get some rest. some kind of a rattler. <laughs> See? Manning. Sidewinder. Show your damn face. Ugh. Okay, I just searched this house from top to bottom. If Todd Manning was here, he's now gone. Why did you do it, Nora? You didn't believe me. Asa. <sighs> Go on. Leave me alone. Get some rest, okay? Please. It's Nora. I think you need to come to Aces right away. Manning, I know you're here. And you are trespassing. The law gives me the right to kill you. Turn Kelly's mood around? She's always happy when she gets to see Ace. Uh -uh. It's something more than that. I mean, there's this sort of glow about her. You don't suppose she's met someone? Right. I think Ace is the only man in her life. No, 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 no. I think we're onto something here. It'd be really good for her to meet someone, the right someone. Maybe, maybe I should be looking around for someone for her. I think that's a really good idea. I mean, you, you know what's best for your girls, right? Uh, they say it's so hard. For... Look, here's the children. I'm going home now. Oh, that's a good idea. It's late. I'll um, send for a car. Oh, that's okay. I'll make sure she gets home safely. All right. I'll be fine. Yes. Be very careful. Uh, let's just hold on one cup, pick in second. Duke, a word. When you walk Adriana to the door, you may kiss her goodnight on the left cheek or the right cheek, not on the mouth. A sophisticated system of video surveillance equipment will be recording your move from three different angles. Just a word of the wise, got it? Got it. Great. Okay. Good night, sweetheart. Are you ready? Good night, Mom. Good night. Good night. Drive safe. need to worry. Duke is on notice. <laughs> I wish Duke were not in her life at all. I'm telling you, his father has ruined the lives of so many women in my family, and I just hate the idea that the son might do the same with the new generation. I think it's a guess you gotta watch out for. He's really talking up, Duke. Hmm. You know, I think... Augustigo's influence is spreading a little bit too quickly in this town. Hmm. Influence that only Major Bucks can buy. Makes you wonder what he knows about those Santi millions, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you seen Jessica? Uh, I'll look for her. Okay. Hey, 
Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. You're not leaving already, are you? Yes, but I had a wonderful time. Okay. And thanks, so did I. I'm glad. Now be careful when you drive my sister home. I will. Okay? Good night. Good night. Congratulations. I'm delighted you could make it. Oh, so am I. I notice you've become awfully friendly with my ex-husband. Not really. We've spoken a few times. Hmm. I was awfully surprised to hear that he was going back into politics. Well, I'm surprised he ever left because from what I hear, Kevin has a real instinct for politics. The kind that can't be taught. Yeah, I guess it shouldn't be surprising. I mean, he doesn't have anyone or anything standing in his way. He only cares about himself, you know. And I realize as the ex-wife, you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt, but a little friendly advice? Kevin will be your ally, as long as you're useful to him. And when you're not, he'll turn on you. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, but... I think my back is safe. See, my acquaintance with Kevin has nothing to do with politics. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure, of course. And by the way, you look lovely. Thank you. What was that all about? I was just thanking the host. You look nice. Thanks. Your medication. <laughs> you always were good for a laugh, Kevin. I'll give you that. But there is nothing you can say tonight ruin this night for me. Oh, Kelly, I'm not trying to ruin this night for you. I just want to know what your conversation with Tika was about. Are you worried that I was talking about you behind your back? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. Adriana is Tico's sister, and he's a friend of the family. There are lots of things we could talk about without bringing you up. But you know what? Maybe I should have asked him one thing. Why are you on the ticket with Governor Brooks? And why are you so friendly with that sleaze Dawes? Isn't he the one that tried to kill me? <laughs> that was never proven. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I realize that you don't care anything about me. What if something happens to Ace? I don't want my son around those people. I would never let anyone hurt Ace, and you know that. Maybe not intentionally. But if Dawes is behind your campaign, he will own you after this election, and you know that. Uh, Kelly, not so close. Kevin's been known to vomit forth acid without warning. Shall we dance? <laughs> you know, if you wanted to inflict pain on yourself, why don't you just shove bamboo shoots under your fingernails? David, that wasn't the least bit painful. I'm just letting Kevin know that I'm back. Your personal life has created some obstacles to overcome. My personal life? <laughs> This guy. But your father's Manuel Santi. What are you looking at? You. Why? I'm just trying to figure out what you're really after. Is it justice? Revenge? Do you just have an excuse now to look for a darker side of yourself? to look very far, do I? To a night that's perfect because of you. And you? You said you won't let Antonio control your life. He's doing what he wants. And so should you. Fashion, but to facing an angel just I've been angry enough to do a lot worse lately. You know, if we found the rest of that Santi money, or even that the hundred million dollars, we could always just disappear. Go somewhere together, start all over. Would you do it?
Whatever you are doing, just stop it and get back over here. I don't want to fight with Asa and Kevin. Look, I don't even want the mansion. And if, if, if that's the way it's going to be, well, just count me out. Stay tuned for scenes from the next. On the next, we we'll like to live. You have a choice. You can go back. You can make it right. You can't give up on him. He needs you now more than ever. Hey, Pa! It's me. Let me in. You finally did, you SOB. Dive into Melrose Place weekdays at 6, only on Soapnet.